Anthony. What's up? How are we feeling ahead of this one against a guy like Johnny Walker? And how are you feeling ahead of Saturday? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. I made through camp relatively uninjured. Um, normal bumps and bruises, I think, like everyone has, but nothing serious. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel good. Were well, you expecting this to be a five-round fight in a main event? Mm -hmm. So halfway through camp, if you're preparing for five rounds, does that give you an advantage? You're like, oh, okay, I can still be preparing this hard, but now I'll get three rounds, I'll have extra cardio, and so on and so forth? I mean, I've been preparing for a five-round fight since, like, February. So um, it was most of the training camp we were preparing for five. It doesn't really make any difference to me either way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, they say I'm not the main event anymore, but, you know, my media schedule says otherwise. Um, so I mean, it, it honestly didn't make any difference to me. The money's the same, the paycheck's the same, the opponent's the same, it's just two less rounds. Do you care that you're not the main event? No, no, okay. I've never asked for a main event. I've never, the only time I've ever asked for, I asked for a title shot and I asked for uh, an event in Nebraska. Other than that, I've never asked the UFC for anything. Mm -hmm. Looking at the fight on paper, it looks like, you know, the experienced guy against the young, flashy, hard-hitting guy. Do you view it in that sort of way? And, and if so, how do you come out on top? Uh, yeah, probably. From the outside, that's probably how it is. Um, you know, he's, he's super athletic. He's explosive. He's creative. Um, even given some of the results not going his way, he's still relatively fearless when he goes in there. So that makes a dangerous guy to deal with. Um, it's Honestly, you just got to not run into anything stupid. That's really what it comes down to, is just being fundamentally sound. You can't really lose focus in there with a guy like that. Mm -hmm. um, if I navigate the traffic, uh, fine, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you mentioned, obviously, the explosiveness and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, those guys tend to lose that as the fight goes on, and you say, okay, I can't walk onto anything stupid. So if you sort of, in, if you're looking at it that way, if you're composed for the first couple of rounds, do you think from then on, it's pretty much your fight to lose? Yeah, you know, I mean, he's... You know, I think it's pretty cliche, but he's got one way to win, and I can kind of win wherever. Um, if the fight is short, it's fine. If it's long, it's fine. If it's on the ground, it's fine. If it stays striking, I don't really care about that either. So, um, Johnny's a he's a he's a unique athlete as far as just his physicality and the things he's able to do at his size. The fact that he makes 205, I think, says a lot about his work ethic, because mm -hmm. um, that dude's absolutely huge. Um, <laughs> So I, I, I think that you got to be able to put the work in to do that. So I, I'm sure some of his longevity issues that come fight time comes more down to his management of his, his energy, not maybe so much about his, um, his capability. I think if he managed his output, he'd probably be able to, to fight five if he had to. But um, I mean, he's one of those guys, you let him, you let him, if you give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll walk onto something, he'll run into something. It, it, he's one of those guys, if you just let him drive himself, he'll run into something. He was in here earlier, and he said that he gets the impression you kind of hate him. I'm curious if you do, or if there is any hard feelings, or what's your opinion of him in general? He's fine. He says he's watched some of your shows, and he gets the impression that you're just not a big fan. Did he say I said that? Yeah. Well, he said that he said he gets the, the vibe off you that you're not really a big fan. And yeah, that sounds like that's his problem. Okay. Just curious because of your analysis that you mentioned Johnny Walker is a very big guy. Alex Pereira is moving up. He's traditionally been a very big guy for middleweight. How do you think he does at 205? And would that be a fight that you're interested in down the line? Yeah, I would love that fight. Um, I'm a big fan of Alex. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big kickboxing fan. So um, I knew who Alex Pereira was before he even came to the MMA side. Um, so I was excited when I seen him get booked uh, at LFA, I believe. Uh, I didn't suspect he would be on the regional scene very long just because of the type of athlete that he is. Um, I think the same problems he would have outside of Israel Adesanya at 185, he's going to have at 205. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a huge Israel Adesanya fan. I don't want to ever take anything away from that guy, but if Izzy's blast doubling you and controlling you on the ground, um, you know, a guy like Rakic or Ankalaev or Blahovic or myself um, is, are going to give you the same problems. Yeah. Last one from me. Um, this division, you know, top of it, as always, it's always a little bit weird and muddy sometimes. You've got an interim champion, real champions coming back, date we don't know. You're ranked number five. Where does a win put you in? Do you just get to say, like, hey, I'll win this, I'll be a backup again, and then I'll get the title shot, or do you just sort of have to take it slow and, and see, see where the cards lie? I think a couple months ago, the answer to that question was different. Um, it, it, a lot of it depends on Yuri. 
and, and what he has going on. It's just maybe sometimes I'm too much of a traditionalist. And he gets it, you know. Like, uh, in my opinion, he should get any the title shot as soon as he's ready for it. Um, and the rest of us are going to kind of sit down and shut up. Um, so that, it depends a little bit on that because I know that Jamal Hill wants that fight really bad. Um, and, and I don't blame him. It's a great matchup for Jamal, and, and that's a big fight for him. And so he deserves that. But And now with Alex Pereira coming in the division, I, I think that, uh, you know, the UFC is like the only place where your reward for getting a win over someone like Johnny Walker is a tougher, harder fight. You know, so I think that Alex Pereira is probably the reward for the winner. Yeah, makes sense.